I'm super excited all of you guys have showed up today. I was reading this morning, right, um, a John Maxwell book, and he said a couple things that were like so impactful that I wanted to share them with you. The first thing, okay, you must see value in yourself to add value to yourself. So real quick, you must see value in yourself to add value to yourself, okay? Here's what I mean by that. We can talk about job search strategy as far as how to get on interviews, sure, how to be better in the interview and all that stuff. That is not what holds people back, guys. What holds people back is, I've been unemployed for a while and no one's gonna hire me. I'm too old, I'm too young, I don't have a degree, I don't have this certificate and no one's gonna hire me and all of these other things. That's what's holds you back. We get past that, the strategy actually starts to work. So believing is super important. And here's what happens if you don't value yourself or you're beaten up on yourself or you're super critical, yourself doesn't want to do things to help get it better. It's crazy, right? First, you have to value yourself. Once you start valuing yourself, it makes it easier to do the things that you need to, to push you forward. And if you guys are saying this every single day, you have these limited broken beliefs. It creates a lack of desire and courage. And here's what you say. I can't, I tried it before. I don't want to because I'll be uncomfortable. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. And you guys are killing yourself. Are you committed to getting your next role? The first step of being committed, right, is to know, right, what you want to achieve. Another thing, okay, was, Whatever you think you are, your self-image is what determines your beliefs, your actions, and your results. So one more time, whatever you believe or whatever you are, whatever you think you are, your self-image is what determines your beliefs, actions, and ultimately your results. I wanted to spend a couple minutes talking about whatever you want to call it, self-image, subconscious, how you view yourself, how you value yourself. Because if you've ever listened to anyone who's super successful, right, this is what they are saying. Do I think I'm awesome? Do I value myself? What is my self-image? When I try to think about my identity, what comes to mind? Because here's the thing, guys, if you guys are sitting and waking up in the morning, thinking about every reason why you're not in a good situation, oh man, it's going to be a bad day. So think really highly of yourself, okay? Easier said than done, I know. But the first step is this. If you're not writing down your outcomes at the beginning of the day, you're setting your whole day up for failure. Because what happens, hey, if you've ever been depressed in a job search or things that go bad, what happens when you wake up in the morning? I'm unemployed, I don't have money, or maybe you are employed and I'm just, I'm unfulfilled in my job. That's what happens when we wake up in the morning, guys. We think about all of these reasons why we don't like our life, yet we don't have a clear picture of what we want and we haven't written a clear plan of how to get there. No wonder we're upset. And our mind, remember, your mind repeats itself each day. Like 90, I think I read this somewhere, 90, Harvard study, 96% of the thoughts you have today will repeat themselves tomorrow. So think about this, I'm too old, I'm too old, I'm too old, I'm too old, I'm too old. It's gonna be so hard to overcome. So we'll get into job search strategy in a second, but just remember, if you don't get this down, none of that other stuff matters. Guys, you wanna shave like months off your job search? Think of yourselves as, hey, I'm awesome. There's things I have to work on, here's what they are, and I'm gonna work on them every day because Thinking this way over time will serve you extremely well besides of just getting another job. So the takeaway from today is, hey, how do I see myself? And if you don't have awesome, positive, excited for the future, wanna make a huge impact, wanna really lead and develop people, if it's not that, you're not in a good place. If you wake up and it's, I have a toxic culture, I hate my boss, I'm not paid what I'm worth, I didn't go back and get my master's degree, even though everyone told me I should have. I work at a small company, but I really want to work for a Fortune 500 company, but why would they hire me? Self-talk, biggest thing you can learn in life to have a happy life. I'll go through it with you. What do I think of when I think of my identity, my self-image? I am happy with who I am, number one. And here's another thing that I immediately come to mind is I don't care what anyone else says about me, right? I don't care. I got a difficult family member who wants to say bad stuff to me. I don't care, right? I'm gonna cut you out or my friends. 
guys, we're too old to be dealing with all that stuff, right? So number one, I think very highly of myself and I think I can do freaking anything. But I know when I can think I do anything, I need to think of what am I trying to accomplish? What's the end result? And let's backwards plan. No different than you guys do in business, right? Having a plan, backwards planning, why wouldn't you do that with your own life? A lot of people, they don't even know where they're trying to go, but they're frustrated that they're having problems getting there. The biggest factor in your job search, starting, leading all of these things, and specifically in the interview process, is to have confidence. Without loving yourself, valuing yourself, your strategies don't matter, okay? You have to have confidence going into these interviews. You can be the best interviewer, story tell, wrap up, lock down, negotiate, all these things. I, if you don't have a lot of high energy, right? I can get this done for you. I can do this. I can lead this team. I can take you out of the red and get to the green, put your faith and trust in me, and I will not let you down. And if you can do that, I guarantee you, you will beat out everyone on those interviews. So let me share a couple strategies that I do daily, which this right here is more important than job search strategy. Interviews, what company I'm talking, forget about all that stuff right now. Okay. Number one, so the first thing I do when I wake up is I write my goals down is if I've already achieved them. So I own a hundred million dollar company that helps stop tens of thousands of people each year do something. Hey, I work out six days a week and I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm a role model and mentor for others. I own this much real estate. I have this job. I travel this much. I have this type of relationship with my family. I have, you guys see where I'm going, right? So at the beginning of the day, this should remind you things that you want long-term and it should hopefully excite you guys. Because I wanna, guys, I wanna be, get motivated and inspired every day because guys, life is freaking hard. It will freaking crush you, right? So make sure you're starting your day with, hey, these are the things I'm trying to accomplish in my life write them down, get out on a walk, listen to some positive information, then start your day. Then what I do is anytime I have a setback, setback, recruiter doesn't call me back, I don't get the offer, I don't get the deal, I don't, something happens. Instead of being pissed off for three hours, man, I didn't get that deal. Stop, I own this business that helps this, I work for this, I am a role model for others, I do. See how I become when something bad happens, I become recommitted to my goals immediately. I am guilty of this too. When something bad happens, it just freaking stays in your brain for hours and hours and hours and you can't get it out. A good way to get over that is to become refocused to your goals. And then I try to write them down at night too, okay? Why? Because I always wanna be thinking about them. So if I ain't thinking about them, I ain't working towards it. So when you guys think of vision boards or writing it down, whatever you wanna talk about, just think about this. The more times you think of something, the more it becomes a reality. Oh, 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 oh,